Aid me. Be my eyes. Here's the stone circle. No way into the sanctum. Another illusion. What is this place? Some time ago, we made powerful magic here. We sought to see all futures. But every road led to Ragnarok. Father does not visit here anymore. He sees no profit in it. But I am not yet ready to give up. You are Esir. I am. I have seen images of the future. Heard the voices of those who will come after us. Voices from... in there? Yes. I leave them words. Little packets of possibility, waiting for unknown ears, many ages hence. What do these future voices say? They seek the wisdom of the past. They speak of things to come. But even they cannot turn the tide of Ragnarok. There is to be a feast in my honor. Your father sent me to fetch you. No, not yet. Listen. I want you to hear the voices. Are you there, Prophet? Can you hear me? Perhaps another day. Another thread. Come. We must not keep father waiting. Who are you? Winter's knife cuts deep, and sky pearls fall thick in this land. It... it is cold out here. How can that surprise you? I haven't been outside in... Um, I don't know how long. You are devoted to your work. Not my work, my responsibility. My people ignore the disaster bearing down on them. Someone must do something. We have long searched for a solution, until the burden of it has bent my mind. I do not think as clearly as I once did. I have heard there's one method still untested. There is, but to activate it would mean defiling our well of knowledge, from which all of Midgard drinks. There is no telling the change it would wreak on humankind. It would bring chaos at the least, and I do not wish to hurt them. Even if it means the death of all Jotna? We will find another way. We must. This land is quite beautiful. I had all but forgotten. The vault, wherein our greatest discoveries are kept. Such things would do great harm in the hands of evil people. No stone walls will defend us when Ragnarok comes. All we have built here will be swept away.
For so long we've made magics there in that tower. Enchantment has seeped into its very walls. The wind and snow have gnawed that tower to the bone. Soon we will knock it down. Generous and hospitable indeed, great Sutungur. None can say otherwise. And see, your gift stands in pride of place, brimming with freshly fermented mead. Enough for a hundred Yotnar and more. This is an unexpected honor. You have filled it already with mead from your vault, then? No need. It has filled itself. Such is the magic of the cauldron. Impressive. But what if it should run out of meat? Do you hear this? <laughs> Harvey fears he will drink us dry. <laughs> my cauldron is deep, but my vault is deeper. Do not worry about my stores of mead. I have plenty to go around. Father, you know revelry does not suit me. Must I attend this feast? I have work to do. Your work can wait, my daughter. Take a moment, enjoy yourself. Father, we have very little time. Enjoy yourself. I insist. Harvey, the guests are uneasy. They see an Aesir, but they do not know you. Will you address them? I'm ready. Now, we will hear from our honored guest. The Lord of the Aesir has come in peace and brought us a mighty gift. Attend. Harvey, I'm called, whose axe is never slaked. The blood of my enemies is my meat. Their skulls, my pillow. You brag well. They were ever pleased by violence. Though our people are enemies, I come here to do you honor. For I know that none feast nor fight like Yotna! Your words are well chosen. I offer a toast to Great Sutunga. They do not love me as much as they love to feast. Now we will drink deep and eat heartily. Begin. I need to empty that cauldron. Then Tsutunga will open his vault. Tales and songs are not but wind and cloud. What? Bright food will inspire thirst. I should head to the kitchen. No guests in the kitchen. Out. Out. Bright food will inspire thirst. I should head. Harvey, show us your might. Beat our champion, and we will drain our horns in your honor. Bring me this champ. Behold! Do not mock me. I will not fight a withered old crone. <laughs> if you are too afraid to face her, well, that is that. If she is truly your champion, then so be it. I will try not to break her brittle bones, but I promise nothing. The right. <laughs> Right food will inspire thirst. I should head to the kitchen. In 
Indeed, you are mighty. You have fought old age and won. No one has ever done that before. Drink to me then, as you promised you would. All of you! Empty your horns for heavy! The right food will inspire thirst. I should head to the kitchen. The meat is half gone. An egg ears cauldron can't be drained. Thralls. Somber souls will only sip at their drinking horns. Conjure us a tune to raise their spirits. We are keen, but my harp has been stolen. We cannot play without it. Who would steal a Songbringer's instrument? There was a group of children playing around us earlier, with mischief in their eyes. I will get your harp back, and then you will play. Thralls. Humans kept in bondage, bred to serve. Such is the fate of the lonely. Gunlotha looks glum, and she has... You're not drinking, Gunlotha. I do not care for it. Drink is the heron that steals away one's memory. Some would say it frees the spirit. We call those people drunks. <laughs> I see your wit is as sharp as your intelligence. Wit? I... Let us play a game. Ask me some riddles. I enjoy a good riddle. All great minds enjoy riddles. You have me at that. Give me an easy one. Would that I had now what I had yesterday. Find out what that was. Mankind it mars, speech it hinders, yet speech it will inspire. The answer is courage. No, the answer is, would you like a... All right. Who is that shrill one who rides a hard road and has fared that way before? He kisses hard who has two mouths and goes only on gold. An arrow sh Arrows fly shrill and kiss hard. But two mouths? One more? I feel good. Be prepared. White-haired women, servants too, bore ale tub to the larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. But there, outside the islands, the upper... Snow. You have a poet's heart, but you should have used your mind. Well, now... That was disappointing. Perhaps you'd better... Come, give it a try! I should try the arch. Greetings, Harvey. Will you test your arm? I can shoot the wings of... Ah, but can you do it while mead adult? Before each attempt... I'll take your challenge on one condition. For every drink... <laughs> That's a condition. Show me those. They take a drink. Give it a try. What's the worst that can happen? Last time I played your game, I got so drunk I shot my brother in the leg. What's Close this? Your eyes. Your lust will improve. What can I do to get them to drink faster? So easy after supping at the brook of the cheer cup, huh? When you feel ready, take a drink and try again. Come, give it a try! What's the worst that can happen? Last time I played your game. You return. Show me though. Then take a drink. Last time I played your game. I got so drunk I shot my brother in the leg. You look a bit wobbly there. You look a bit wobbly there. Careful. Let us hope you hold your beer. Let us hope you hold your beer better than you hold a bowl. Fine shot. Now, have a drink and try another. Close your eyes, your luck will improve. Steady eye now. The last one is the hardest. Close your eyes, your luck will improve. 
You are a keen shot, Harvey. Another round? Not for me. Is there any sweeter music than the clash of drinking horns? We need a warrior to lead us. Give it to me! I want to go! Get your grubby paws off my harp! My turn! My turn! Not you too! You... That harp does not belong to... What are you gonna do? Why don't you give me a re... All right. You want this harp? Go dive from that me. Climb as high as you can, though. I wanna... Watch and learn. Not you too! You'll break the strings with your sausage fingers! <laughs> Bet they won't do it! How many broken bones, you think? Fifty at least. Maybe a hundred. I should not be seen in this area. There. Now give back the harp, so the musicians may play. Umi has hairy balls! Who taught you such language? Mother.